Hi, I'm Mark Shepherd. I'm an acupuncturist in Donington, which is just the West Sussex. As you know, I've been interviewing some practitioners around the world, along with some local, one of some local businesses. Today, I have the great pleasure of speaking to Chris Mills. Hi, Chris. Hi, Mark. Chris is, um, Chris's uh, clinic is the uh, Happy Laughter Acupuncture and Chinese Medicine Clinic, which is in Lillydale, Yarra Junction in Australia. Um, it's, well, actually, regardless of what I was saying just now, because we're having a bit of a chat about what we're going to talk about today, um, I'd love to know how you came up with the name, because it is probably the best name I've come across. <laughs> um, I didn't come up with it. Like, I... Um, because it, you know, you get into business and it's like, what am I going to call my business? And I had like, I had no, I, I had no business name for maybe three or four years. Um, and it really, I think it was after my trip when I went to China, um, I went to uh, some of the famous Buddhist mountains while I was over there. And I went to Guanyin Island. Um, and when I came home, I still didn't have a business name. And at some point, this, it, it just popped into my head. And I had to sit with it for ages because it's not your standard um, acupuncture type name whatsoever. Like it, it just isn't. Um, so I reckon I sat with it for at least six months before I kind of went, okay, I, 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 I consent. <laughs> <laughs> Um, because I didn't think of it. Yeah. It, it it literally just went, oh, that's what it is. Okay. And I had to get over my emotional resistance to calling my clinic happy laughter um, before I before I actually registered as a as a business name. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, it, it, it sounds a a really nice place to come to. You know, if I was looking down the list and think, yeah, yeah, that's what <laughs> I want to go to. <laughs> yeah. Nice. <laughs> it's uh, yeah. Just making sure you got that big smile on every time someone comes in. Absolutely. Uh, it's um, yeah. So what I really like, and I, I sometimes tell myself, okay, I'm not going to do this question this, time, but it is so good to hear people got into this. So, so can you tell me how it happened for you? Sure. Um, yeah. Okay. So I like I'd never had Chinese med or acupuncture in in the way I practice it. Um, before I actually went to uni. Um, when, after I'd moved out of home, I was living close to La Trobe University uh, and I was wandering around campus and I saw a poster that said introductory talk to Buddhism. And just for whatever reason, the thought came and I'm like, oh, I remember my mum mentioning that my uncle was Buddhist. I don't know anything about it. So being an introductory talk, I, I thought that would be a good place to, to actually find out something about Buddhism. Um, and after that, so I went to that class. Um, the teacher also taught Tai Chi and Qigong. And Tai Chi was something that I'd wanted to do for many years, since I was probably a mid-teenager. Um, but classes were always too far away or they just, they, they, I just wasn't able to get to them. So the so I, I went to some more Buddhist talks. I joined the Tai Chi and Qigong club. Uh, and it turns out that the Tai Chi instructor actually did a version of Chinese med. Um, so that, that was my first exposure to Chinese medicine at that point. Um, and really the thing that actually got me to become a student of Chinese med um, was that one day, and it, the Buddhist teacher didn't, I, I didn't even hear it directly from the Buddhist teacher, but I'd heard that the Buddhist teacher had said that they were disappointed that none of the uh, students actually had the heart to do the medicine. And when I heard that, I'm like, no, no, that's me. I do. Um, so, so that was, I think that was somewhere around mid year or something like that. So then I like, I went to the process of enrolling and then I had my five year degree and, and I've been learning ever since. Wow. And um, in terms of the thirst for knowledge, I mean, having a look at your website, the, the <laughs> courses you've done is really quite inspiring. So it's, it's uh, so it's, and um, when you do these courses, it's, it's just this, this pure joy of learning 
or do you find that maybe something happens you think do you know what i want a bit more of this or someone comes in and it's a bit the treats i think right come on what else can i do what's the inspiration because you've clearly got the thirst for knowledge um yes thanks um there is there's there's both that um i enjoy learning but part of my mission like there there are always people who know how to treat particular things or do acupuncture better than i can so i want to learn from them um so like my, my a, a, one of my own aims is to work on making what i do more effective and more efficient so that people get better faster and so you know there are there's so much knowledge out there that people are willing to share nowadays that i, I you know if i can take something from that course and actually improve my outcome for the patient well then fantastic that that's that's really the whole point to get outcomes from my patients absolutely yeah. um so in australia when you um leave school at something like bean what is the qualification that you have when you leave sort of like high school um for me it was called the vce so, so the vce so um so in uh uh, in the UK, it would be O levels or now GCSEs. Mm -hmm. But yes. when I can, when we complete the uh, uh, acupuncture degree, we're all in a room at the college, and uh, the dean of the college came in and said, "You know, congratulations, you're now at O level." <laughs> now <you need> to <laughs> go. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Yes. You now need to go out and you know yes. learn trade and you know it's yes. um, yeah, yeah, humbling, humbling. It but, isn't yeah, it? I, I, it is but it's it's there's such a vast sea of knowledge out there and, and clearly you're you're making your way through it which is, is lovely and um so from, from you know the inspirations from the, from the buddhism to you know taking on if i yep that's me once you're actually in practice do you have any special pattern like trees um can you repeat that last thing that you said do i have any I special any passions, any passions, things that are, 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 are any particular conditions that you really enjoy treating? Um, yes, no. I, I enjoy treating every, just full stop. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I love it. It's great. Um, I would say that my main clinical focus, uh, I've got musculoskeletal, um, so aches, pains, injuries. Um, I've got pregnancy uh, and postnatal, uh, and I also have gut health. Hmm. And and uh, the the fourth one is general medicine. And, and and even with the specialities, the way that Chinese medicine works, and looking at the underlying what's going on, then really people with with pretty much anything can come in because the hmm. same foundations apply. But absolutely, don't they? Yes, brilliant. And so, so you, you treat really a, a very diverse range of conditions. Yes, absolutely. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great. It keeps if things. It's never dull. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, that there's always something new or different, or you know, yeah. it, it, and and even within that, it it's you know, for so is it you know, if you got like a shoulder injury, there's lots of different ways of treating the shoulder injury so i can do it you know lots of different ways yeah um there's not one particular way that i have to actually approach it yeah i can i can play around i can have fun i can yeah uh, that, that's one of the, the huge strengths of chinese medicine is kind of having that um that's such a broad range of what you can bring mm. and um so I noticed comment on your website about um, gut issues and food intolerances. Mm -hmm. so you've been um, you, you've been working with that for people. I have, yes, yeah. Um, so a, a mixture of things. Um, IBS in the past. Um, I've also worked with uh, FODMAP issues, um, issues with dairy, uh, you know, like pains. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, a few different things. 
And, and, and how's this whole world situation been affecting you at the moment in terms of the clinic? Are, are, are you able to practice at the moment? Is it yeah. are, are things running for you? Yeah, so so in Australia, it was a bit different than it has been in other parts of the world. Um, so I've been able to practice the whole way through. Okay. Um, March, you know, March was quite stressful because nobody knew, you know, everything was so new. So people didn't know, yeah. you know, whether to come or whether to go or, you yeah. know, so it did kind of tank in March. And, and then as yeah. April has come around and March, uh, at May, um, uh -huh. people are becoming more comfortable and they're, you know, they're, they, you know, new people coming and looking in and yeah, it's good. And have you found it's generated a different focus on what you're treating or are you finding that maybe alongside what you're treating, you're, you're needing to supplement or more of an anxiety type level and, you know, a, you know, a very justified anxiety type. Um, what are you finding? Um, not, not so much. I th like a little bit. Like today, I did yeah. have a patient who. I, I don't think it was really a COVID. Like it wasn't a COVID anxiety. Yeah. Um, it was just some anxiety and some stress um, that went with the job. Yeah. Uh, it just happened to be the shoulder pain that brought him in. Yeah. yeah. So so in that case, it's kind of like you know. Asking the patient what 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 would their outcome what would they want that to be? Uh, so for him, it's obviously the shoulder pain, and if he can get some stress relief and uh, deal with that aspect of, of life, then he would be doubly happy. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. I, and that's what I'm that's what I've noticed is that when clients come in, as as well as the result, they really enjoy the process of the treatment, the actual mm -hmm. experience. Are, yes. are you finding very much the same? Um, I, I'm not sure that it's like people enjoy their sessions, but I'm not sure. I don't think it's really any difference now than what it was say in like February or, or January. Oh yeah, absolutely. I, I, absolutely. I, I totally agree with that. But generally speaking, COVID oh, for sure. aside, oh, yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, but yeah, people yeah. seem to really love their Yes. Yeah. The, the, the whole thing about it being the me time. Yes. Oh, very much the me time. Um, lots of the parents that come in and it's kind of like, oh, no kids, love my kids, but you know, just just the ability to be with, you know, just themselves in quiet for uh, you know a good thirty minutes is is fantastic. Well, you, you've got a really good um, uh, website. I really enjoyed looking through that. Um, so, where can people uh, find you? Um, so you can find me at my website, uh, happylaughter.com.au. You can also find me on Facebook, which is Happy Laughter Acupuncture Chinese Medicine Lilydale. Uh, it's a mouthful. Um, I do have an Instagram listing, but I haven't really posted anything there since last August. Um, so the, the, the main two places really are um, Facebook and my website. And, and you have two locations, don't you? I do. So I'm at Lilydale, um, that's my main clinic. And then I'm, I do, I kind of, I call it my half day uh, in Yarra Junction, but a half day is kind of like one till eight. Well, wow, that's, that's a long half day. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, yeah. So yeah. Uh, it's, it's been really great talking to you today. Uh, is there anything that you would um, just like to end with? Any, any sort of like message you want to put out there? Um, no, no, not off the top of my head. I, I always struggle with those, what, the, you know, like the, What's the last message that you would like to? Oh, maybe I should. I know. Beforehand, I don't know. No. No. Thank you for watching. Oh uh, no! Thank, thank you for thank, watching. Thanks for and the interview. Yeah. I know it's really good, and so it's, it's 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 clearly so easy to talk to you, which is really great. And um, so it's been a pleasure today. So thank you very much. Thanks a lot, Mark. All the best. Cheers. Cheers. Bye bye.